everyone, so this is a favorites of the month video. So it's actually not a the end of the month yet, but let's pretend that this is the favorites of February. But actually, it's actually a big favorites of a whole long time, to be honest. Because I don't change up my routine every once in a while, I just stick to my loved ones. So first of all, I obviously still love my daywear. I did a review on this. Second one, let's go to the under eye area. I am using, right now, using Bobbi Brown concealers because I wanted to try these ones. So I'm using Bisque, the color corrector, and I use the color thing in Cool Sand. So, and I use this with my 224 MAC brush. So actually what I prefer to do is use the bisque color, so the corrector color in the inner eye. Right now I didn't really do too much because I was in a hurry this morning. So I use bisque in the inner corner when I have the time. I use cool sand over it and cool sand here on the other corner and uh, get it a little bit more inwards. Then um, of course I all I do this all with my 224. Then I go over it with the setting powder, which is this one. Looks like the banana powder, which I will definitely invest in one day if I have time and I have if I find the time. Let's let's just uh, keep it on that. So brows. Right now I'm actually enjoying this brow set from MAC. Um, it's in the color Begil or something. So you can definitely read it yourself, maybe. And if you can't, I'm sorry. Oh, it was on it. So, yeah. I think it's more for the blonde people. But because I'm somewhere in between, my sister... Um, bought it for me for my Christmas and stuff and uh, I never really used some brow setting gel but um, I really like it but it gets some getting used to to, uh, to use it so um, maybe I'll do a tutorial or anything when I use this one so you'll see that in the future maybe um, I'm still loving my MAC Open Lash Optimum Black Really nice mascara, really voluminizing, really nice mascara for everyday use. Or anything else for the uses. Then uh, eyeshadow. When I use some eyeshadow right now, I go pretty dark, pretty smoky, and I use Le Fumé colors. I did a review on this and it will come really soon. Or maybe it will come before this favorite video. So um, I will still. Uh, upload an everyday routine routine with this and maybe some other tutorials that, that I where I like to use it for so oh yeah I also really like to use my 217 for it because most of the time my 224 is then dirty for my eye my concealer and uh, and I'm, I don't have another 224 maybe I should purchase some because I really like to blend it actually a little bit more with the 224. But that's also alright. Uh, then, I really like this blush brush again. I have some phases where I go out of it and in of it. But right now I really like it because uh, when I don't use my eyeshadow too much, um, when I go bald on the lips, not that it, this is bald, but when I really go bald on the, on the lips or just just a little bit more, let's just say it like that. Then I uh, like to use my, uh, right now, Beat lipstick, uh, lip liner from MAC and New York Apple from MAC. Looks like this. And I really got a really nice compliment on it, so uh, I'm not using uh, this right now, for the record. But I did use it on my um, hair routine or something like that, I think. And it looks like this, it looks really dirty, but that's okay. So. 
And um, when I use that combination on my lips, I also like to use a stubborn blush, a little bit on the cheeks, and uh, as a highlighter, this is a limited edition collection, uh, an extra dimension eyeshadow uh, in triple impact. Also, also my sister got it for me at Christmas time from MAC. It looks a little bit um, scum because I used some Fix Plus on it and whew, with some Fix Plus it's like the real, the real thing. But that's another story. So uh, it really really looks like the highlighters used in the magazines or on the catwalk or anything you like. It's not, it's subtle. But you know, it's a really nice color. So it's actually a more of a um, violety pink highlighter. You can see it's not silver or anything, but that's just natural lighting showing up, showing it up like that. Also, one thing I still love, love is a. Um, an eyeliner a fluid line from MAC. This is in Deliciously Rich. It's also actually a limited edition color. Um, and I have a love-hate relationship with it. But this color is actually... Um, gets re-promoted a lot. But I can tell you... It's a whole different story. Maybe I should do a review on it. Maybe I will. I'll definitely do a review on it and I'll do a video on how I made this work. So it actually looks so gorgeous. Look at it. It's more of a... It's a brown with a, an aubergine underlay. So with some gold, with a lot of gold. Actually, it's really nice, but as I told you, a love-hate relationship. So, just not to end on a, on, on, on a negative note, let's throw one extra in it. Um, I want to show you my eye cream. I still love this. It's from Clinique. It's all about eyes. And I use this on a regular basis. Actually, every day. Um, I'm still... I still want to, you, uh, to try the Bobbi Brown eye cream. Because I heard a lot, lot, lot of good things about it. But if it's not better, I guess I will come back to this one. I also did a blog post about this. And maybe I did, oh, I also did a review on this channel, so definitely check this out. So I guess this is all I could say for today, for this month. And uh, make sure to keep, um, to keep checking this channel, because I'm going to do a collab video about the Nicole Scherzinger look. And I'm going to do some um, more reviews and uh, some more looks with my Guerlain palette and with other palettes, obviously. So I hope you enjoyed this look and um, make sure to subscribe or like this and um, check everything else, obviously. So, bye!